Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you some neat new features of a great whiteboard program called Whiteboard Chat. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So it's whiteboard.chat. And back in September, I made a video about it. And since then, it's added a bunch of new features. So we're going to look at the new features here. Let's go ahead and get started by hitting Start Drawing. And I'm going to start teaching. And notice I haven't signed into any kind of account because you don't need to in order to use Whiteboard Chat. Now, let's take a look at this menu here of colors. So the first thing you'll notice here is up in this upper right corner, we have this little, little color palette. And we can change the color scheme of the entire screen. I could use that really bright pink purple color if I want to, or I can make it a, kind of a dark gray or black background, or I can go back and use the blue theme that I had to begin with. Now you can change that as many times as you want. But let's close that out and notice I still have this menu of other things available. I have patterns in here. I have letters. We go to alphabet. You'll notice I have these cool little options like C and a cat inside it. If I want to, if I want to remove that, you can go over here and just clear that off. And we have you know, our letters, and down here we have different languages. So that's really neat. Now, that's a, one of the new things that's available. Let's go over here and look at grids. Grids is also something that's been updated. We have our default kind of just grid pattern. Great for math. But look at what else I have. I have this notebook pattern. I have a handwriting pattern. Now, if I wanted to combine this handwriting pattern, with let's say some letters let's go back to the alphabet or letters here and i'm going to put letter b right there on the screen i can do that again i can clear that off if i want to and we can go back and look at some of the other grid options we have here like music sheet and then if i go back to my menu of options here look at that i have music let's put in treble clef and now i have sheet music on my whiteboard let me clear this off again and we'll look at some other options that we have here. So again, back in that grid view, we've got the syllable board. Let me clear that one off. We can see we've got a whole bunch of different options down here. Now, you can mix and match. Let's say you want to do handwriting on this page, and then go down to your bottom left corner. Let's add a new page. And we're going to do college line on the next page. And you can see we're switching back and forth between them. Now we still have a whole bunch of other options in here. Like we can add in some pictures. I can take a picture with my webcam or I can record a video with my webcam that's built in here. I can add in a picture this way by just uploading from my computer or from Google Drive. I can type on the screen. And I can change that font color. Go back up here. We can change our whole color scheme, but I can also go down here. And change that to be something like green. Change our text size down here. 
So the next time my text is, this is larger text. And let's go back in and let's take a look at some of our other options in here. Let's say I just want to do some drawing. I can just go and draw on the screen this way. And if I want to delete just part of something, well, I can delete that. And now I can delete that without having to clear the entire board. So those are some of the new features. But next, let's take a look at some of the other features you might use in a teaching situation. So now let's take a look at the tools you might use when you're teaching online with Whiteboard Chat besides what you've already seen in terms of just drawing. Let's look at some instructional aids. So first of all, let's change this instructor board title from unnamed to Mr. Burns lesson number one. Now, I want to invite my students to be able to follow along with this and we'll be able to follow along even if I don't do screen sharing in Zoom or Google Meet or Whiteboard or Microsoft Teams. I'm going to hit that invite button. We've got this class code there. We also have this class link. So I can just give them that link. I could put that in Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, or any other LMS that I want to use. Or I can share that link in my Zoom meeting if I want to. Now, let's see what a student sees when we go to that link. So my student's going to go to that link. They're going to enter their name. Let's say this is Bob. And Bob now has a whiteboard up, and Bob can draw on this. He can go along and he can draw and scribble on it. And as the teacher, I can see that, hey, Bob has joined in. And I can hit this little show showcase work. That'll bring Bob's board up to the front for everyone to see. I can close that. And now it goes back to just the teacher's board for the whole group to see. But I can also go into grid view over here. And I can see there's Bob's lesson right there. By the way, I should point out that right now it says exciting Michelangelo. Well, let's change that so it says Mr. Byrne. So that when students are looking at the boards, I'm going to go back to single view here. And then we go back into grid view. It says Mr. Byrne up here, not Michelangelo. Let's go to single view. Now, as the instructor, besides being able to see my students' whiteboards, I can also do things like this and give them an allotted amount of time to complete a task. So let's say I want to give my students two minutes to work on a task when they join in. I'll set a timer and then that timer can run and give them up to two minutes to complete a little task and then I'll go back to grid view and see what they've been working on. So you can see there's my little timer up there in the upper right corner. So those are some of the many new features available in Whiteboard Chat. Take a look at whiteboard.chat. I think you'll find there's a lot of really exciting tools for teaching online using this free service. It doesn't require you to have an account, nor does it require your students to have an account. It's quick and easy to get started. You can share those links right in your Zoom or any other video conferencing tool you want to use, as well as sharing right in Google Classroom and your LMS. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.